This is the Sky City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And send your stories to news at skycitystudios.com. Joel Harvey was only 16 years old when on December the 11th, 2021, he opened fire in the Old Swan area at a rival that the court said may have been a gang member and he had a dispute with. Michael Costello, the victim who was shot twice on Prescott Road, at 3am that day, didn't cooperate with the police. It happened outside a one-stop convenience store and CCTV shows the moment that the 16-year-old opened fire shooting three times and hitting him twice. Michael is then seen fleeing from the scene with a female trying to avoid any further confrontation. This also isn't the first case that Joel Harvey was connected to. Several weeks later, the same gun that was used in the first attack was used to shoot another man in the chest. Lewis Cottage, aged in his 20s, was shot on the green in broad green on January the 16th. The gun that was used is a grand power semi-automatic pistol. The police know this because they recovered it later on from Harvey. The court said that Harvey was participating in a gang war in the streets of Liverpool and when the police actually arrested him, he was on his way to commit another shooting. He was only convicted of one of the shootings, but he was connected via DNA and the same firearm to the other shooting, but they didn't convict him for that. It's very rare in the UK that a 16-year-old will be identified, but the local paper, the Liverpool Echo, put in an appeal to the judge to be able to identify him for reporting purposes, and the judge approved this. Harvey was arrested at 2.30 on June the 18th, 2022. He was at his address in Beachwalk. He'd already been bailed for several other offences and the police believed he was going to a different scene to try to shoot somebody else. Armed police officers raided the address and also a police helicopter supported. They smashed through the window and Harvey wasn't seen for several hours. They eventually found him hiding in the loft. A bag was found by the door and the Grand Power semi-automatic handgun was discovered and it was full with one body in the chamber. The judge said in court that they believed Harvey was on his way to shoot somebody else and he was a very dangerous teenager. The judge said that I have no doubt that you were linked to the pistol in relation to the other shooting and you were potentially going to do another shooting, which could have been fatal. The judge also said that he was very shocked that the 16-year-old was committing offences while on bail for other offences, and he was engaged in open gang warfare in the streets in the city of Liverpool. Harvey denied all of the charges, but was convicted of wounding with intent, two counts of possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life, and possession of ammunition also. He was jailed for 12 and a half years and given another two years on licence. Detective Inspector John Mullen said Harvey was involved in street violence and also crime that was in related to gangs. Had our officers not arrested him, he would definitely have used that weapon again. It was also revealed in court that Harvey had arrived at the location at 20 to 3. The judge said that you went to your grandmother's house nearby after you spotted Michael outside the convenience store. I believe that the gun was hiding somewhere around that location and you also obtained an electric bike. The judge also accounted for the fact that he was so young as well and this is something you can't ignore. This boy was living with his grandmother so it makes you wonder where his parents were and obviously the situation that he had growing up because nobody commits such reckless acts without there being some underlying issues. They also said that all of the offences were aggravated and he had previous convictions for possession of a bladed article dating back to 2020. So this story definitely goes to show the dangers that are posed to young children having access to firearms. This has definitely become a massive problem in Liverpool with electric bikes being the main choice of hitmen in the city. And the age of the hitmen is definitely getting younger, but a lot of the time, innocent people are getting caught in the crossfire. So I really appreciate you joining me today, and I really want to hear what people have to say on that story. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.